Just go a bit wider on the stance. Great. That looks great. As if you're trying to stare a hole through the lens. Nice, nice. Since the iPhone is supposed to be an all-in-one pocket-friendly device, its cameras have to stay as flush to the body of the phone as possible. And naturally, that's going to compromise and constrain the telephoto. I'm going to be on the other side of this phone box. If you just stay there and look annoyed. But the Reflex Pro Series 16mm is a dedicated standalone lens and because it fits onto the iPhone's wide camera it naturally inherits all of its features and characteristics such as a larger pixel pitch and aperture resulting in more efficient light gathering capabilities, a shallower depth of field and ultimately superior image quality especially in low light. You can really see the difference in these examples. These are both raw photos taken at the exact same settings. Look at how much more light the wide camera with the Pro Series 60mm lets in. And if I correct the built-in's exposure, you can see it's also noisier, which is particularly undesirable with skin tones. And of course, there's the less pleasing depth of field. Having said that though, the built-in telephoto and the Pro Series can work together if you want the longest focal length possible. So what you can do, because we've got the reflex case, we can take a 60mm Pro Series off of the wide camera, stick it on the telephoto, and on this iPhone 12 Pro, it's two times telephoto that comes built in, then becomes closer to a four times telephoto. And as you can see, the images lock tack sharp. It also shines with video. Can you reach out towards the lens? Nice, nice, pull away, epic. The tighter focal length plus the way your subject is separated from the background means they just pop off the screen and it looks so good. In a sentence, the Reflex Pro Series 60mm is the telephoto lens I've always wanted for my iPhone. It's as simple as that.